we're making room. We're making room back here because we're getting a wholesale order in later today and we need the space. My shoes suck. Which means, <laughs> which means breaking down these boxes so we can make room. Also, today's video is gonna be about bulk buying and wholesale and I will be giving you guys some actual tips <laughs> that, you can, that you can use to maybe go and buy your first wholesale orders where you are. Okay, we're gonna keep breaking these boxes down and I'll be back in a second. We did good. We're almost done. That's much more space. It's really not that much more space. <laughs> oh, by the way, that's Ben. He's my brother and he's here <laughs> to help stomp boxes and take pictures for us for eBay. Plus he's got sweet style. Look at that sweet Gap striped shirt. Damn Ben. Hey Ben, yeah. I like your shirt. <laughs> we did it. Good job guys. Now we have room, lots of room. You're right, we should get bunk beds. So many activities! <laughs> okay, so now there's room for the wholesale order to come in. I'm wounded. A box got me, cut me open. Workers comp. Oh, also, so I went to Goodwill this morning and I did buy some stuff, mostly shoes. There were some really good deals on shoes. So let me show you guys what I got at Goodwill this morning. I bought this Attack on Titan snapback hat. Paid $3 for it and it looks like these are selling for about $16 on eBay. Got this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles hat. This one was also $3 and that's the best part. It's got pizza on the bottom. Just a tip, most of these Nickelodeon hats will have the date on them. So this one's from 2012 and it's worth about 13 bucks. Check these out guys. Paid $4.28 for these vintage channels champion brand swim trunks they're awesome if they were my size i would definitely keep them but they do have the cool champion logo embroidered on them at the bottom like i said four dollars and 28 cents we'll probably list these for around 25 bucks i would assume that's about what they'll sell for and then i got nine pairs of shoes at that goodwill i got a whole bunch of the same kind of asics running shoes some sas sas shoes some shape ups some hoka or haka however you say that running shoes let me break these down for you guys. So we'll start with these SAS shoes, paid $10 for them. They are the nice white leather ones in pretty decent condition. SAS timeout shoes. These things we usually get between $65 to $75 for. So 10 bucks for these shoes is a great price to pay. And then I picked up these Skechers Shape Up shoes. One cool thing about Shape Ups is on the inside, I'll try to get a picture of it. On the inside, there's a style number right there. So these ones are 11807. And the cool thing is you can just search that number in Shape Ups and it'll pull up sold comps. So if you look at this, the black ones are selling for around $44 to $60. So again, 10 bucks on these, good deal. And then these Hakka running shoes paid 50% off $9, so $4.50. And the model on them is, where is it? Where's the model? There it is, Bondi 5. And I'll just scroll through some sold comps on used ones so you guys can see. These things are awesome. They sell for, used they sell for anywhere from $50 to $80. I would say this particular pair will probably get around 70 to 80 bucks for them. And then lastly, I picked up six pairs of these Asics Kensei, Kensei, Kensei 5 shoes. I paid, I paid $6 each for them. And again, if we take a look at sold comps, these things sell for, I would say on average, we'll probably get like 35 to $40 each for these things. So that is some really good potential profit there as well. As you guys can see, we stocked up on running shoes and workout stuff because that's the type of stuff that's selling during summer. We're not buying that many clothes because we do have a lot of inventory <laughs> um, and because shoes are selling great for us right now. Okay, so now that our warehouse is ready for more product, we're just gonna wait here for that to be delivered to us. Let's talk more about bulk buying and wholesale. We get the question from people all the time who've been reselling for a while on eBay or on Amazon and they've built up a bit of capital and now they're looking to get into buying stuff in bulk because in reality that is the next step that is how to advance your company or your business and reselling is to take your accumulated funds and start buying in bigger bulk start buying more than one of the same thing instead of buying one thing at a time from garage sales or thrift stores 
now you can buy in bigger bulk. And it makes sense because if you think about it, it takes the same amount of time to list one unique item on eBay as it does to list 10 of the same item on eBay. The first thing, you're only listing one thing, and the second listing, you're listing a quantity of 10. It still takes the same amount of time. So in our opinion, it's always good to mix in multiples or multi-quantity items. So where's one way to start with buying in bulk? For those of you brand new into the bulk buying game, we wouldn't suggest going straight to websites to try to get that inventory to begin with. Just because it's a bit harder, we usually suggest to start local, start in your local area. And one way to find those deals is at physical auctions. So I'm gonna flash over to my computer now and I'll show you one website that we used when we first started looking for bulk deals. It's a great way to find local auctions right around your area. Maybe you'll have to travel a little bit depending on where you're located, but auctions in our opinion are a great way to go and find your first bulk or wholesale type deals. So the website is called AuctionZip or AuctionZip.com and this is where you can find a bunch of auctions. You can search by radius and just type your zip code in. You can use keywords, but I usually just search by radius and zip code. And then it pulls it up by live auctions and online auctions. We like to look for live auctions in our local area and usually it'll pull up a lot of different like storage unit auctions, which I don't suggest for your first ones. Look out for actual physical auctions where you can go and see the stuff that you're gonna be buying. Like this one, for example. So this is a Subway restaurant that is liquidating everything. And this would be a good one to go to if you can find stuff to move locally. I don't know if these bigger things will move online with shipping, but it would be a good one to check out. Here's another one. This is a local auction and looks like they have a bunch of different stuff, knives and license plates. This would probably be a good one to pick up stuff to sell on eBay. But yeah, you can go and check out whatever auctions are in your local area. Like I said, I would look out for liquidation auctions, government surplus auctions, and business closing auctions. Those are ones that work best for us. The website is auctionzip.com, and it's a great place to start if you're looking to buy in bulk. Okay, so the fryers are all in here, guys. I got a hundred of them and I got one lawnmower. <laughs> um, I, guess I'll, I guess I'll show you guys the numbers on this deal, break them down for you so you can see why we made this purchase. Paid $3,300 for 100 fryers and one lawnmower. They're about 160 bucks on eBay, about 180 bucks on Amazon. But realistically, let's say we make $80 per unit on the fryers. The lawnmower is model HU725AWDEX. They sell at Lowe's for around $500. We're not gonna sell that online. We'll probably try to move it locally for around $425. So all said and done, we should bring in revenue of $8,425 on this deal, minus the $3,300 that we paid for it. We should net over $5,000 on this one transaction. And that's why I like bulk buying. That's why I like doing wholesale or bulk deals because to go in thrift or go in garage sale or go and pick one item at a time and make $5,000 would take much longer than a couple hours of making the connections and hard work and getting the items inventoried. By the way, if any of you guys are looking for an air fryer, I will put a link to the listing in the description of this video and you can buy one from us. <laughs> so there you go guys. I hope this video helped you guys out. I hope maybe you're able to go and make your first bulk purchase, check out some auctions, and make some more money. That's why we make these videos for you guys to help you out. Thanks for hanging out with us. We really appreciate it. Allie is right there. She's working hard. Allie! Allie! <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you on the next video. Bye. Peace out. Good luck to you. <laughs>